and all this and all that. As soon as you get through applying pressure, that when nigga get to calling the cops, telling they mama, telling they sister, you know, moving out their house and shit, you hear me? You know, yeah. all that pussy ass shit, you hear me? <laughs> we ain't doing none of that. We still on the same block, still at the same yo, still in the same car. 24 fucking 7, man. 365. Yeah. Yeah. Keep a drum on me, boy. Watch a bit of fly, yeah. nigga. Get him on me, boy. Watch a bit of fly, nigga. Get him on me, boy. rappers and I've been to Baton Rouge before it's a very small town city whatever you want to say um but it just seems always like a lot of animosity a lot of hate between different art not all the artists hate each other but there just always seems to be something in the air right why why is that because they go back to what I was saying like don't nobody want to see the next man in the head of them so like if you like like it, it's, it really be hate for no reason like if you just get to doing your thing like if you just Get the moving forward, it's gonna be unnecessary beef coming from everywhere. Cause this man might be rapping and you done passed him up. So now he got all this kind of animosity built up and you know, it's just be really on something like that. Like, it don't like 99% of the beef in BR don't have no real, real street meaning behind it or that. It'd be like some, you know, something like that. So it's competitive? It's basically, it's like, it's like, it's like basically competitive. Now, let me ask you this. Um, can this be stopped? Can this be fixed? Do you see this ever changing? Like, from what I've known of Baton Rouge, it's always seemed to be some sort of beef. Right. I always used to, I used to feel like, like, in my, you know, like, me personally, I used to feel like, maybe one day, you know, they like, somebody just there to stop it, like, man, we probably get money together, you know, but, like, the way it's going, like, the way it's been going for years, it looks like it ain't gonna change, like, you know, I don't know. The way it's going, like the way it's been going for years, it looks like it ain't gonna change, like, you know, I don't know. Glen Oaks? Yeah. Is that in the north? That's, yeah, that's like the north side of Baton Rouge. Yeah. Glen Oaks? What was that name? Like, what was it? Yo, this like any other whole neighborhood, you know, yeah. coming up. Yeah. Rough, the same, like, you know, the same thing, crank kids, you know, dope dealers, whatever, you know, everything the same way. Yeah. What, uh, like, yeah, how, how, how in your, how in your own mind is that more different from the South of Africa? Is that any different? I mean, I wouldn't say it's too different, but, you know, like, everybody around me is kind of different, you know, because people do things in uh, different ways and stuff, but yeah. it ain't really too different, you know what I'm saying? Like, Baton Rouge is, like, the biggest thing down here. So in the country towns, they so small, they look at Baton Rouge like, you know, so, you know, just if you're a rapper from Baton Rouge, they look at you like you're a celebrity. Yeah. Yeah, you know when, I was, well, when I was out here in 2012, like, I went out to Tibbet up to see gigs. Actually, I was a fuse manager. Right. And then, like, 
That was why nobody outside of VR really knew, or outside of Louisiana knew right. who James was, but they knew every word that ended up. All right. That's just like the long show I just did a street report. They rap every song word for word, front to back. And it was like, had like a thousand people in the gym. Everybody running up to me. I posted the footage on my Instagram. That's right. And you haven't even dropped a mixtape yet, huh? Not yet. I've been dropping singles. What do you think it we is? We just dropped on, um, like, a label CD, though. Like, we yeah. didn't drop two label CDs, but I ain't dropped a solo mixtape yet. What, uh, how did you get involved with TVJ? Uh, my man, Boulevard Man. He found us on the ground. He like, you know, come out now. You know, we was gonna holler at him on some future. We ain't did the iPhone 6 with him. We put him on the iPhone 6, you know. So we no killer with a killer. And when I go to sleep, I got my tool under my pillow. I'm looking in the mirror and watching my every move. I'm watching my enemies, but I'm watching my friends too. I'm paranoid. Can't let a nigga take me out. So I ride with that pistol. One day I make a route. And mama crying tears because her baby boy thug. And her to came from Pleasing 5, but I'm a natural boy hustler. And so they can get up in your business They rather to see you down It's too much hatred in my city I ride with that clock And let them take me in my city Flash on the crash I'll release the shots from the extension Bury me in the casket full of money With my bank of tongue Niggas say he gon' kill me He must be smoking no angel But it's trying to join the game But I can't let him lame Hang with us and get some fame from us We dangerous so you can't bang with us It's all or nothing If I don't make it rap And I'm trapping I gotta see the meal Niggas say they saw me in the business I don't need a deal Might hit a blood To let you know how to read I see my yakin' on the beach and where your people live Hoes be jockin' and niggas be watchin' my Hey, Leon, you know you ain't living like that, man. You get a deal and you done turn to a killer. When you start doing all that, man, you know you ain't cut like that, man. You know TPG been your muscle, boy. And the same nigga you talking about usually, usually don't live in, in jail, wherever they at, man. That's the same nigga ran you out of Nouveau in the city, man. And yeah, you remember Will? Yeah, Will's out there. And yeah, you remember you ran out this store, man. You know what's happening with us, man. You hear me? Real shit. And I'm living out shit, you hear me? Everything you got with a deal, I got this shit with all the deal, man. You hear me? You know, 30 plus on my neck with no deal, nigga. Yeah, for real. Driving a hundred thousand dollar coupes and shit, man. Yeah, with no deal, boy. You better stop playing and stay in your place, son. Bitch ass nigga. And when you throw a shot at me on that shit, man, don't be on there talking all this slick shit. Yeah, hey, in the bang, man, on the way home, bitch. You know what's up. Yeah, he quick. You know what's up. Yeah. Yeah, in that city you had just came to, you came to my room, nigga tried to snatch your chain. My head just left that bitch, man. Nigga ain't playing with me out there. Man, nigga, what you don't, what you don't like me or something? Like, fuck that rap shit. What you know? I'm saying, like, what you, what you got some against me, bitch ass nigga? You know what real? Oh, man. <laughs> what you say? Huh? Fuck it, nigga. I'm about to be. You know what it is? real, bitch. Call a nigga dissing, but he tripping. How the fuck I'm supposed to zip him when he posts a shit on him? Star. Say he riding, but he laying. He ain't ready for that pressure. It's too late to say you sorry when you laying on a stretcher. Damn, fuck who you is, nigga. Fuck around you, man. That nigga. I, I, I don't like you. I don't keep on it. I don't like you. Um, NBA young boy going at, you know. Uh, G Money, and you know, the, you know, the Instagram shit that happened last week. Yeah. I mean, for the people that are listening, do you want to talk about that? I'm not here to instigate it. It's all over, you know, the YouTube. Oh, man, I ain't true. I ain't true. I, I, I mean, but you know, I don't want people thinking that. I don't want people to think that I'm instigating. So if you're open to talk about it, we can talk about it. You know yeah, man, it's all good. We can read about that. I ain't true. So, I, I mean, do you, are, are you and your boy the same age? Shit, no. They're a little nigga younger than me. Okay, so, I mean, do y'all have history? Were y'all ever cool, you know, prior, years prior? Yeah, that little nigga was like my little partner. He used to be like my little brother. He stayed with me and everything. Okay, okay, so, I mean, y'all was cool. Did y'all ever do any music together? What, what you said? Have y'all ever done any music together? Nah, but we was on the same label at one point in time. This is the label I'm on now. He was once under here. Okay, I mean, so, I mean, where did, where did it go south? Uh, it really ain't just, like, when, you know, leave off on the bed, you know, like, everything was still all good until he started, you know what I'm saying, like, doing his own thing, getting a little buzz, getting a little money, he just got the big head and just started, like, in it, like the feelings he been feeling probably deep down the side that he was scared to put out, he let that out once he got a, got a name and got, you know, got from down here. He started letting this shit out how he probably been feeling. Scared to put out. 
these little bit on once he got a, got a name and got, you know, got from down here. He started letting this shit out, he probably been feeling. Police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22-year-old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Right now, police have not named any suspects or motive. If you can help police or have any tips, you can report them anonymously to Crime Stoppers. That number 344-STOP. And remember, your tip could lead to a cash reward. Bad news to murder, Captain, man. Everybody needs to straighten up right now. They see what happened right here with G Money, bro. It's so real. If person don't realize it, man, everybody down here in this world need to love each other, bro. You said that you didn't think the guy that they're charging with the murder actually did it. No. Okay. I'm not gonna get into the details of why that is, yeah. but that's a pretty big statement right there. Yeah. So, from your point of view, and like I said, no details, that there's an innocent man right now in prison being charged with his murder? He ain't in jail right now, what? Oh, he's not? Nah. So th they dropped the charges? Uh, he bonded out. He bonded out, well, but he still has a charge. Yeah. How do you bond out of a murder? Um, uh, it, 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 it um, depends. The case is to be dependent on uh, on um, the evidence. When they really got no evidence on it, you still keep uh, it. Cause um, I think first degree murder, you don't get no bond. I think. Okay, but there's like uh, second or third degree. Yeah. 
Well, Garrett Burton, also known in the music world as G-Money, was tragically killed while leaving the recording studio here in Baton Rouge in 2017. And his mother says even though it's been two years, the painful memories still feel like yesterday. Burton was only 22 years old when he died, and his mother said he was just about to really get started in his music career. Ava Burton says she received a tremendous amount of support from his fans from around the country and the world. She describes her son as loving and respectful who didn't like confrontation and the two-year anniversary of his passing was just a month ago, but she says some days are harder than others. It ain't got no better. I think it'll get better. It feel like yesterday. It still feel the same to me. Like I said, when you have kids, you used to see it all the time. What's up with them? You know. And then he's about to leave here. He got a record that he didn't leave at Rudge. So all that kind of plays into how I feel right now. You know, it brought me at it. That's kind of hard for me. 24-year-old DeAndre Fields was arrested and booked into East Baton Rouge Parish Prison for second-degree murder charged back in June. Bird says she's ready for the trial to begin and get justice for her son. And I'm like, what hospital y'all gonna come panic? I come on the phone like, what hospital y'all What hospital y'all Whatever, and he was like, we had the studio, like, hung up. So, like, he stayed in Denham at the time. Yeah, I really made it from Denham to the studio in, like, seven minutes for that. I was running through every line, like, I could have really wrecked it quite, like, I was driving so fast. When I made it, the, the tape was already up. Uh, I'm going to give y'all more reactions, like, on Lost and stuff, but when I made it, he was, I'm going to say he was alive when I made it, but they didn't let me see it. You know, like, real talk, and I really don't like to talk about it much because it really bothers me, you know what I'm saying? That's some shit that I got to, that's some shit that I never forget, but, like, they weren't like, you know, so bad, like, what happened because there's so many different stories and so much different shit being said. But, like, the nigga said, like, I didn't bust back or I ran or, you know what I'm saying? I ain't helped G. But my thing is, when I wasn't out there, two, how you gonna bust back and you don't know what you busting at? And three, like, I was the first nigga out the door. I'm the one calling for help. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did everything with my power. But G walked out that door by himself. I, I told him before he walked out the door, like, man, I'm finna get my bag, and I'm finna get, I'm finna, I'm finna get the slippers. He the one told me where the slipper was. And when I went to go get the slippers, he walked out the door on his own. Finna, finna get the slippers. He the one told me where the slipper was. And when I went to go get the slippers, he walked out the door on his own. is closure. Fox 44's Courtney Williams explains what this process has been like for her. Three years have gone by and Ava Burton says the feeling of losing her son is still fresh. Nothing really has changed to me. I mean, I still feel the same way that he got murdered. It still feels the same to me. Garrett G. Money Burton was shot and killed in 2017 just as his music career was about to take off. Now his mother, family, and friends are waiting for a trial to begin. 
report they trying to do uh, get enough evidence and they say they're trying to throw something take it to the grand jury so they can uh, have a kind of case and the current pandemic is putting a pause on the trial they kind of can do a lot of stuff they made to do yeah so up with that burton says what keeps her going is her faith and support from his fans i just say one day at a time it's hard some days harder than others but I think all the fans are still supporting uh, supporting, uh, Garrett for me, and I think everyone has been so nice, and everyone. What she's looking forward to is justice for her son. That's all I want. I want justice and closure. That's all. I mean, it's not going to bring him back. It'll make me feel a little better knowing that, you know, somebody paying for what they did. And with the recent shootings in Baton Rouge, she wants to see an end to the violence. I mean, put the guns down. When you think about shooting somebody, think about the consequences and everything before you do that. Courtney Williams, Fox 44 News. DeAndre Fields was arrested and booked into East Baton Rouge Parish Prison for second-degree murder. Uh, that was back in June of 2019. Burton says she's expecting to get an update from her attorney on the case, hopefully by the end of September. Yeah, my brother come over there, fuck with y'all. On the street, I fuck with y'all cause my brother fuck with y'all. My brother's dead. I don't fuck with none of you bitch ass niggas, you hear me? For real. All that fucking hoot the wolf shit. Shit. I still got love for TBG, but them other niggas who snake my brother, I know y'all did that shit. I ain't gonna say y'all nothing. That's why y'all getting what y'all getting right now. Bitch. You know, and I'm laughing at y'all shit getting hit up and all that. Bitch. Pussy ass nigga. And I don't want to see no nigga in jail. I want to see all y'all in the grave, bitch ass nigga. The fuck, how long I knew y'all pussy ass? Yeah, y'all cut through my little brother. You hear me? Y'all told nigga when my little brother was here to tell he left y'all studio. Y'all think I don't know that shit. I know that shit. Y'all, y'all want me to think, oh yeah, if they catch him over there by TBG, they gon' think TBG did it. This and that. Man, y'all pussy ass niggas did that. And that's why y'all reaping with y'all so right now, bitch. That's just the beginning. Y'all gonna get a little more stupid ass niggas. Yeah, I'm on here talking reckless, bitch. Cause you bitch ass niggas shouldn't have did a real nigga like that, you hear me? Yeah, TV didn't have nothing to do with my brother Merlo. No, none of that nigga trying to say they snake to me all that day and do none of that. You hear me? Them pussy ass boys off the other side did that. I know they did it. Smoking on killer, where the killer? And when I go to sleep, I got my tool under my pillow. I'm looking in the mirror and watching my every moves. I'm watching my enemies, but I'm watching my friends too. I'm paranoid. I'm looking in the mirror and watching my every moves. I'm watching my enemies, but I'm watching my friends too. I'm paranoid. But what was the whole situation with NBA young boy? <laughs> talked about it we finally talked after two years yesterday because i was trying to see what like what what i'm being talked about on live but anyways i don't i don't ask y'all to do nothing for my baby my baby was born my baby was born april 2nd 2018 he ain't had a pack of pebbles from y'all
fucking ass. He ain't had a shirt. He ain't had. He ain't got shit from y'all. But y'all post his pictures when y'all want people to act like y'all. And like when y'all acting like y'all want. Yeah. And there's no disrespect to Miss Ava, cause she she used to watch my baby. She used to till we fell out. She used to get my baby. You ain't so you ain't, you ain't saw your yeah. no. Cause y'all play with me in the comments. You ain't you don't call your nephew. Your nephew got his own phone. Even if you don't with me, G got G got his own phone. I don't ask y'all. Me. Then to my, to my mouth cricket, okay, I was in the red, shit, shit happens, life goes on, my nigga, life goes on, it ain't never stop me from doing shit I want to do, that's all the fuck you say, my nigga, I'm grown as fuck, if I want to go talk to my that's the fuck I'm gonna do, stop putting rumors on my name, I ain't talking about cleats, stop putting rumors on my fucking name, if I want to go fuck with a nigga, that's what the fuck I'm gonna do, why, cause I'm fucking grown, drop a bag on you, I wouldn't waste my Money. That's why you ain't dead to your them niggas. You're not even important enough to stop playing with me. Don't nobody want to. Oh, God satisfying your. God got you here for you to shake back and take care of your kids. You worried about me. My only concern with you should be that fucking baby. You don't even say shit. You don't even say shit about the baby. You don't say shit to the baby. Your nephew, wrong son. You fing with me. You don't even give a fuck about your nephew. You ain't gonna be on his fing team, bro. Just like you did with your mother fing brother. You ain't love your Mama says she started getting money for your, for your brother. Stop. If his trial came up and they asked you to get on the stand and talk about it, it was a character witness or you was a character witness or nothing, no, you're not doing all that. You're not, you're not getting on the stand for, for nothing. I'm the mother of Gary Gordon, the Reggie Money. He was married to this guy, he was married in 2017. He's not in the studio. the front door and when I looked out the front door because the window was open the burglar bar was closed so when I looked out the front door you couldn't see nobody I couldn't even see G all I can see is the flash from the fire jumping out the barrel and it's like you know what I'm saying I'm in the streets you know what I'm saying I know what kind of gun, how a gun sound, nigga had to be shooting big, something big. So my first instinct, I run to my gun. I ain't gonna lie, all I had was something with four shots in it. And you don't know what a nigga shooting from. You don't know what's on the other side of that door behind that wall. So. How can you just run out the head first? And you know what I'm saying? You could have caught a bullet. I could have caught a bullet or anything. And then it would have been defeating the purpose. We both would have died. You know what I'm saying? Everything. So when I first, as soon as the shooting stopped, I ran out the door. First, as soon as the shooting stopped, I ran out the door.
police and all that. As soon as you get those prime pressure, that when nigga get to calling the cop, telling they mama, telling they sister, you know, moving out they house and shit, you hear me? You know, all that pussy ass shit, you hear me? We ain't doing none of that. We still on the same block, still in the same yo, still in the same car. 24 fucking 7, man. 365. Keep a drum on me, boy. Watch a bit of fire, nigga. Keep a drum on me, boy. G money. Sometimes I scare myself. Thank you. 